Good morning, church family. I hope each of you is well today on this beautiful Sunday, late in the winter season. Yesterday, Saturday, was simply a beautiful day, wasn't it? Bear with me, I'm starting out in something of an unconventional manner here. We have all heard fairy tales, right? Fairy tales start with once upon a time. Military stories, Army, Navy, Air Force, they start out with, no, this ain't no lie, it really happened. How about Bible stories? Now, Bible stories start out with, and it came to pass. And it came to pass that an angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for I bring you good news. Today in the town of David a Savior has been born unto you. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 11. That's our meditation topic for today. Overcoming fear with faith. That passage from the Gospel of Luke is a powerful message. Do not fear, your Messiah has come. Another most powerful message was spoken by an angel appearing to the women at Christ's tomb who were very frightened at his sudden appearance. Do not be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus. He is not here. He has risen. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 5 to 6. Fear not, do not be afraid. These phrases about fear appear over 365 times in Scripture. God must know it is, it is in our nature to fear things. What do we fear? Well, just about everything at one time or another. Finances, relationships, poor health or death evil, sin, harm done to us by others, you name it, it's a lengthy list, isn't it? We read in Scripture that we are to have faith to overcome fear. Having faith is mentioned between 350 and 500 times in the Bible, depending on the translation. So this is like being told, do not fear, have faith, daily on every day of the year. Even a stubborn four-year-old child may catch on eventually with these daily reminders. Yet, we continue to fear and doubt. We should not. For faith and hope overcome fear and doubt. From Scripture, And the Lord, he it is that does go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Deuteronomy chapter 31. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isaiah chapter 41. For God hath hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy. Please pray with me. Father, we know that we should not fear or be afraid about any situation in this life. Our faith in you and in our risen Lord overcome fear and the seeds of doubt planted by the evil one. Father, we can never begin to repay you the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus, or earn the forgiveness and salvation you have given to us. As we prepare to take communion in his honor, let us always bear in mind that the cup and bread represent his sacrifice that bore our sins away. We praise and worship you, Father, on this Sunday and on every day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.